Welcome back straight on to a CNBC TV in exclusive then Ace investor Monish Pabrai talks to Nigel D'Souza about his investments in the banking and auto space says that Maruti is a great asset but not available at a great price talking about the recent correction he adds that ILNF is crisis is a wake up call for rating agencies to tighten up take a look at that I think on the banking side and I think just if I look back at the history of Pabrai funds I have had trouble with levered financial institutions. I've had a number of investments going back 19 years mm. that haven't, haven't worked. And uh, we had trouble with even the Indian banks we invested in, mm. and we exited at a loss. Right. And uh, so in general, I mean, I think Repco is an anomaly. In general, I really don't have much interest in investing in levered institutions. So you're not buying banks, uh, you know, you're saying that you're quite bullish on India, you've been deploying money in the last week or so. Banks doesn't come on that list. Definitely not. I think, I think the thing is that one of the things to remember is that a lot of businesses can make money yeah. by levering up. Right. If you lever up with a sliver of equity, the equity returns can look really good. Okay. The, the hallmark of a great business mm. is generating very high returns on equity Right. without any leverage. Okay. What's your view on the automobile space in India? Are you investing out there? It's a known fact that Pabra Investments has a large chunk in out of your total funds in Fiat. Yeah. So in terms of uh, the auto space, what's your view? Do you think, are you bullish on the auto space in India? As far as the auto industry goes, I hate the auto industry. Mm. I think it's a terrible industry. But you have a big chunk in Fiat. Yeah, so in uh, 2012 uh, is when we first invested in Fiat. Mm. And from 2012 till now, Fiat has delivered, uh, it's about uh, six or seven X now. At the peak, it was about eight or nine X. Okay. So it's done really well, but we bought it basically at one times 2018 earnings. So in 2012, we were buying at one time 2018 earnings, and that actually came to pass. Okay. And so we were buying a company with 150 billion in revenue mm -hmm. at a 5 billion market cap. I paid 1 30th okay. of revenue. Uh, so one simple ma uh, you know, thing you can look up for Maruti after the show hmm. look at the market cap, I think it's something like $20 billion, mm -hmm. and look at the revenue of the company. It's the complete opposite of fiat. So Maruti is very dominant, phenomenal business. Yeah. Investing is not about identifying great assets. Okay. That's only one part of the equation. We have to identify great assets at great prices. And to me, Maruti is a great asset, mm. but it is nowhere near a great price. I also wanted to ask you, know, everyone's talking about the mess that's in the NBFCs today. But what really started off was that some of that paper that was AAA rated suddenly got downgraded to nearly junk. Sure. So, do you think that you know there would be some kind of uh, a dent in uh, you know with regard to investors putting their money in some of these rating agencies? You have a large chunk even in care. So, I just wanted to know: Do you think you know the, some of these rating agencies uh, will be looked at with one question mark or a lot of question marks? I think looking at rating agencies. So, in the during the financial crisis mm. uh, in the U.S. and the global financial crisis, 2008-09. Uh, the primary culprits of the financial crisis were the rating agencies in the U.S., Moody's yeah. and S&P. Yeah. And Moody's and S&P had thousands of pieces of paper rated AAA that went uh, to crap. Right. And uh, there were a lot of hearings, there were a lot of calls for heads to roll. When the dust settled, mm. uh, no one went to prison. Yeah. Uh, they paid very modest fines. Mm and their stocks are at all-time highs. Right. So the, 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 the interesting thing about rating agencies is there is almost no business on the planet yeah. that has a wider or deeper moat than a rating agency. It is almost a license to print money. So uh, it's a phenomenal business. Uh, sometimes they screw up. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, we, we had big screw-ups in 2008 and 2009, and we had, uh, we had some screw-up recently. I actually think it's good news that the nature of the screw up that happened in India was relatively contained. It's only really ILFCs, subs and so on. Hmm. And I think it was a wake up call for the rating agencies to tighten up. Okay. So that's always good.
Okay, a very interesting conversation. They're not interested in buying banks. And even if Maruti is a great company, it is important to buy it at the right valuations. On that note, let's slip into a quick break. Up next, RBI Deputy Governor Viral Acharya argues the need to protect the independence of the central bank to protect the economy from short-termism. More on that when we return.